Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss, you know, the two type of projects, ASP.NET um, web project and web applications project and ASP.NET website. Now, these two type of projects are quite similar, but, you know, one of the key differences being that, you know, in the ASP.NET web applications project, uh, there is, a, you know, um, pre-compilation of the DLL for the code behind files or the .cs file that you know you probably are aware of or the .vb files. So that needs to be pre-compiled into an assembly, single assembly before it is deployed on the web server. Whereas in the website projects, all you need to do is uh, you know uh, there is no such pre-compilation or explicit compilation and you know, whatever changes you are making to the markup and the code behind files, you just uh, deploy them ditto to the web server and they will be automatically compiled on the actual web server which, where they reside uh, on demand from the, on getting a request from the web user. Right. So, there are some advantages. Obviously, auto compilation is easy and you don't need to uh, pre-compile into an assembly and uh, take care to load only the assemblies and uh, deploy the assemblies for publication or deployment uh, in website projects but there are some couple of uh, you know uh, disadvantages as well uh, the, the disadvantage being that you know because it needs to be compiled uh, on request from the user as uh, after it is uh, you know uh, published or deployed there is a uh, noticeably but time delay this slight but noticeable time delay in uh, getting the fetching the page uh, to be rendered on the browser that's one of the disadvantages and the second disadvantage which i think is more prominent is that you know um, because you need to deploy the source code also or code behind files .vb or .cs file along with the markup files .aspx or the user control files .ascx. So these code behind files carry actual source code. So these source code will be available to the customer who buys your website in case that you, you are selling your uh, you know web site to a customer. So that's all for the day. Thanks for watching. Keep watching for more such tutorials and in the next part I wish to cover the mechanism of compilation between these two type of projects. So thanks for watching and um, please do give your likes and comments on this video and if you wish to uh, be the subscriber you are most welcome that will support me in my ongoing effort to deliver quality tutorials on ASP.NET and other software platforms. So please click the right hand side, lower right hand side subscribe button.